The story originated from Africa, um, uh, most likely from the southern part of Africa, maybe around 100 to 150 years ago. Uh, this story has a lot of um, importance in the community because it creates a good message to people. All right? So the story goes that there's this guy called Mamad uh, and he's, uh, he's known in his village to be uh, the man who doesn't speak lie. He, he never utters a single lie in his life. And uh, news spread and one day it reached the king and the king uh, summoned Mamad uh, to see you know, if it's how true is the story. And the Mamad went to the, uh, to the palace and the king uh, as summoned and he says, Your Majesty, uh, I'm already here as summoned. So the king was saying, I heard that you've never lied. Mamad said, That is true, Your Majesty. I've never lied in my life. So it was interesting and the king said, mm, okay, let's let's see. Why don't you come and see me two weeks from now? So Mamad left and uh, in these two weeks the king had uh, to think of a plan to trick Mamad to, to make him to lie, right? So two weeks passed and he came, Mamad came as promised and stood in front of the king. And king and to the king said, your majesty, uh, I am here as summoned. Uh, please let me know what I should be doing and the king says uh, meet me at the ranch so the king uh, and Mamad went to the ranch and the king was you know saddling up he was going for hunting so before he went to the hunting uh, he told Mamad now here's the thing he put his left foot on a stirrup the stirrup is like the a flat um, a piece of thing that it goes on the side of the saddle where you we can step on it and climb on on the uh, on the horse so the king's left foot was on the stirrup and his right foot was on the ground with this position he told Mamad Mamad go to to my queen go to the summer palace and tell my queen that um, you know that I'll, he'll be coming over after hunting uh, and to prepare a huge feast and in that feast he or Mamad will be also part of it. So Mamad uh, agreed uh, and um, went on okay but the king did not put his right foot up on the other stirrup which means he didn't climb the horse he get down from the horse he didn't go for hunting that was the trick right. Um, so Mamad went to the queen and he says the majesty has ordered me, summoned me to tell you that maybe he will be coming, he may be, he may be going for hunting, maybe after that he will be coming over for, uh, for lunch and maybe I might be joining both you and majesty for lunch. Uh, and the queen was perplexed and asking, why are you saying all this? I mean, is he really coming or not? And Mamad was saying, my queen, I, I'm not sure because when I left, the king's left foot was on the stirrup and I did not see whether he sat on the horse uh, and left for hunting. So I cannot say for sure that if he's actually coming for lunch or he if he's actually left for hunting. And he came back, Mama told that he came back. The next day, the king um, called, some, uh, summoned Mamad and says, you know Mamad, I did not go for hunting and uh, you know it was a lie and you told a lie and he laughed about that and at that time the queen came in and told uh, the king everything that what Mamad has said. So um, the, queen, the king was ashamed for what he has done and has henceforth agreed that this in his country in his kingdom, Mamad is known as the man who never lied. So this story has a lot of importance. The, the fact remains, that especially even for uh, modern times like now, uh, on how we convey things to people. You know, uh, we should be very cautious when we, when we um, convey a message to another person. The perspective has to be as it is, right? Uh, if we would have said the otherwise, then chances are, we would make um, a false statement inadvertently. So, so this is a very good story and uh, something that we should spread to the children. Uh, and, uh, 
and yeah that that ends the the story uh, i hope you enjoyed it so please uh, stay tuned for more if you're new to my channel do subscribe till the next time thank you stay tuned